What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is doing well out there and staying safe. In today's video, it'll almost be like a part two of my studio tour, but this part is more of a signal flow part and my recording setups. Huh? If I want to, I can record my Howard Deluxe that's over here, or I can record my Overdrive Special with the Aux Box and get some really cool tones with that. So let's check it out. So before we dive into the setups or rigs as you may call it, I think it's important that for every studio, mostly if you're doing stuff from home, is that everything is at arm's reach from each other and everything is super easy to dial in tones and record. So for example, if I want to record my Howard Deluxe, all I gotta do is turn it on, plug in the cable into the amp, mic is already on there into my input one of my Apollo, into Logic, boom. Less than five minutes, you're plugged up, recording and ready to go. Same thing with the Overdrive Special. Get the cable, plug in there, it's already going to the aux, open up Logic, add input 10, and you're recording through the aux into Logic in less than three minutes probably, less than five minutes even. So everything is super fast. Same thing with pedal boards. Get two cables, guitar, and then to amp, and boom. What has to be mic'd, Howard Deluxe, always mic'd. Overdrive Special, always in the aux, always into Logic. So everything is less than five minutes, you're set up and ready to go. So the first setup that I can use, which I've actually used for most of the YouTube videos actually, is my Les Paul cable plugged straight into my good old Fender Hot Rod Deluxe that I've had now for almost maybe, what, 10 years? I think it's the best amp in the world. I mean, it's awess EQ-wise, nothing crazy, and it's mic with the Shure SM7B. And then usually what I do for videos, which you'll see more later, is I mix the recorded audio with the camera audio which is the Rode mic for my Canon. So, this is how this sounds. So that's my Les Paul into my Fender Power Deluxe. No pedals, just cable into amp. Again, SM7 mixed with the camera audio mic. So that's the first setup. Let's check out setup number two. So my next setup or rig is my favorite. It's my Gibson Les Paul, as usual, number one. Cable straight into my Well Engine Overdrive Special. Into my Universal Audio Aux Box, which you can't really see, but you'll see in the B-roll. EQ wise. Pretty simple. But the important part is that this amp is still on 100 watts with master volume just above two. So if I'm a guitar volume 10, it's pretty loud. You know? And as you can see, there's no mic on it right now. You're just hearing the camera mic because it sounds pretty cool with this room sound. So here it is, neck pickup, guitar volume eight and a half. If I go 10, it's too loud, but you'll see. So here it is again, neck volume eight and a half. Roll it up to 10 on the neck volume. Right? So now the cool part is, I engage the overdrive channel, go to the bridge pickup, and it's loud, but man, it sounds good. Yeah. But 
but that also allows you being loud is to play softer with your right hand. And then when you dig in, it gets pretty loud. So basically, high volume and pick lighter makes a note bloom more. I learned that from Tim Pierce on the Cool Red Shell video he did together. Um, so that is setup number two. Now, let's involve the aux box that's right behind it. So the amp is always in the aux. Remember, it's on 100 watts still with master volume just above two. So in here, that's pretty loud. And actually, you can hear it in the kitchen when I play. But what, what the aux does is, on at least attenuation number five, it lowers the volume just a hair, but also rolls the top end off so it's a little more smooth. So as you can hear, again, here is overdrive channel, master volume on the amp just above two, aux least attenuation setting. Right? Now, attenuate to four. It's a little more quiet and more compressed. Right? Attenuation number setting three. You can talk over it. Remember again, this is all camera audio. Setting two is way quiet. Right? So now, let's involve the iPad and see how we can mix camera audio with the aux going into the iPad with a 2x12 cabinet, which is really cool. So let's check that out. Alright, so now the cool technology part of the rigs. So far we have guitar, into overdrive special, into the aux, now with the iPad, with this setting as you can see right here, which is a 212 with 1265 speakers and a Royal 121 and 57s for a classic recording setup. No? So here is, again, just the camera audio with the guitar straight into the amp. Right? Loud. Take it down all the way to zero. And now there is no speaker monitoring in the room. Now you're just hearing aux. So now what you can also do, which is really cool, is bring back that speaker monitoring, about like four on the aux attenuation setting, and now you can hear a room sound with the camera mic and a close micing sound, professional micing setup with the aux. I think that setting, camera mic, aux, blended together is the way to go in my opinion for this recording setup.
All right, guys, that's today's video on my recording setups. Again, if I want to use the mic and record the Howard Deluxe, I can do that in probably less than five minutes. Same thing with the Overdrive Special and the Aux. Plug in the guitar, turn everything on, open Logic, and within five minutes, you're recording. So I think that's crucial that your studio set up in a way that everything is arm reach from each other so you can do whatever you want super fast. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.